Hi there, my name is Stephen Bailey, and this is an overview of my Notion video production template. I am a filmmaker working primarily as a cinematographer in Brooklyn, New York, and I use this template on a daily basis to manage my video projects. I use it to keep a list of all of my current projects in one place, keep track of that project's status, keep track of pre- and post-production tasks and workflows related to that project, and I've also included a review function that will automatically let me know when a project is due for review. There's also a master video project template where you can keep anything and everything related to that project in one place. Link your Google Docs here, add production info, make a mood board or a shot list and storyboard. The great thing is you can customize this however you like, but I've included a few pages here to get you started. I love having everything related to the project in one place because that enables me to share the project with client, team or crew members and collaborate with them on developing the video. It also enables me to easily send vital production information like locations and production schedules via a single link to people who are going to be there on the shoot day. The template is comprised of four databases that are linked together. There's a project database, a task database, a client database and a contacts database. You can change or build these databases out however you like. Everything is customizable, so if you want to add or tweak properties that are more suited to you and your workflow, you can do just that. The dashboard is where you get an overview of everything that's going on in your databases. At the top, we have a link view of the project's database. The project inbox is the first place I start when I'm adding a new project. The project stage view gives me a clean overview of what stage each project is in. The scheduled shoots view gives me a quick glance at shoots that I have coming up and the month view gives me an overview of what my month looks like. Underneath all of this, we have a project tasks section. This is a linked view of the tasks database and it's where you keep track of all of the things that you need to do in relation to each respective project. I've divided it between pre and post production, but you could also add a view for just general to do's, a view for tasks related specifically to development or whatever else you'd need for yourself and your workflow. Next to that, we have a linked view of the project database that is populated when a project is due for review. When I open Notion in the morning and see that a project is here, it means that that project has been marked as due for review and I'm reminded to review that project. There are so many different applications for this. You can customize how many days you want between project reviews. I've included six by default. The project page is where you keep everything related to your project. This is probably the part of the template that is most likely to change based on your needs. For instance, if it's a travel gig, you might want to add a travel itinerary and share the page with crew members so that they know what hotel to Uber to after they land. How I use this area changes from project to project. Sometimes I'm building each page out myself in Notion. Other times I am simply linking and embedding Google Docs that have been provided to me by a client or production team. Doing this means I don't have to go digging through Google Drive or massive email threads to find that document or attachment. Underneath this, we have a linked view to the tasks database that is essentially the same view as the one on the projects dashboard, only this time, the only tasks that will show up here are ones that are specifically related to this project. You can populate these as you see fit, or you can use buttons to automatically generate a task workflow. I've included two buttons, one for pre and one for post-production that are easily customizable to suit your needs. There's a lot more that you can do with workflow buttons. For instance, you can automatically assign specific tasks to specific team members so that when an editing task is generated, it's assigned to your editor, but when an audio mixing task is generated, it's automatically assigned to your audio mixer or whatever. Okay, let me take you through how I might go about adding and managing a new project first thing I do is I'd come over to the project inbox and let's say Adobe reached out to you and they want you to shoot a software commercial. Let's say Adobe is a new client. You can go ahead and add them to your client database here, which is pretty great. Let's say they want you to shoot it in a week. They want you to hold those dates and they want you to come up with the idea. So I'll put that in development and they're going to pay you five bucks you need to send that invoice. I'm going to go ahead and mark today as last review. Okay. We can now see that this project has been added to the other tabs. And a quick note about project stages, you can customize this however you want. For instance, if you're a content creator, you might want to add an idea bucket. Uh, and instead of completed, maybe you'd want to change this to published. 
hey, good news. You made your mood board, you wrote a script, and Adobe really liked your pitch, and they want to book you for the gig. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and send this project to pre-production. A few different things happen when you do this. The first thing that happens is you'll notice that there have been a series of tasks automatically generated. These are linked to the project and the tasks database. And we've also changed the status of our software commercial from development to pre-production automatically, which is really great. And you'll also notice down here that the tasks have been automatically generated and you can get to work marking these off and planning your production. One thing that I use for every single project that I shoot is the shot list and storyboard. I love being able to check shots off as I go, and I also love being able to sort complicated shot lists by whatever property I see fit. Usually it's by scene, but you could easily create a date property and sort by shoot day, whatever you wanna do. Okay, great, you did the shoot. Congratulations, well done. You can send it to post-production. Again, customize this workflow however you want. One thing to note is when you send the project to post-production, it automatically changes the shoot status to wrapped. And that's pretty much it. If you want to collaborate with people outside of your team or organization, and you don't want them to be able to view sensitive information, such as your internal budgets and spreadsheets and contracts, or how much more money you are making on this project than they are, then I'd suggest turning your project resources section into its own page and simply sharing that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some good ideas. And if you want to have this template all for yourself, you can purchase via a link in the description below.